King Charles has sent a message to Canadian communities grappling with wildfires after learning of states of emergency in the Northwest Territories and British Columbia. My wife and I were desperately concerned to learn of the recent states of emergency declared in the Northwest Territories and British Columbia due to the wildfires, we recall with great fondness our visit to Yellowknife and Northwest Territories last year and we can only begin to imagine the heartbreak in those communities as they face this disastrous situation. Seven days ago, the NWT government declared a state of emergency due to the raging wildfires that have forced more than 20,000 people to evacuate from the capital Yellowknife and other communities. Last year, then Prince Charles and then Duchess of Cornwall Camilla visited the territory during their three-day tour of Canada where Charles met with First Nations chiefs to discuss indigenous-led solutions to climate change and meet with residential school survivors, he referenced the trip in the statement sent to the Governor-General. The visit in 2022 marked Charles's 19th time coming to Canada, and Camilla's fifth. His first time here was in 1970 and hers was in 2009, before that, the couple was last in Canada in 2017, when they took part in Canada 150 celebrations. During that tour, Charles and Camilla visited Iqaluit, Ottawa, Wellington, Trenton, Ontario, and Gatineau, K. In the online statement, the King also shared his deepest condolences for people who have lost loved ones and his prayers for the thousands of people who have been displaced due to the unprecedented crisis. British Columbia is also under a province-wide state of emergency issued on August 18 as threatening wildfires across the region have destroyed structures and forced more than 27,000 people from their homes. As of Wednesday, the province is battling more than 375 active fires. The King's statement also acknowledged the nationwide efforts to combat the devastating wildfires, highlighting the tireless work of local officials, volunteers and first responders in assisting and protecting their neighbors and communities in the face of such danger and uncertainty. The beauty of Canada is not limited to its landscapes, its true beauty lies in the strength and resilience of Canadians and the care and concern they show to one another in the face of adversity.